Hi, this is Richard. I'm going to be going over how to set up and use an autoresponder campaign today. First, you're going to log into your account, and from the home screen, you're going to mouse over campaigns and select autoresponder from the drop down menu. In order to create a new campaign, we're going to hit the create button, which will open up the autoresponder template. In campaign name, you're going to type whatever you want to name this campaign. The end user who is text messaging in um, will never see this title, so it's only for you and your client's benefit. The keyword is what the end user will actually text message into the shortcode. Um, so you can type in whatever you want that keyword to be, um, and it'll tell you instantly whether it's available or not. This keyword is available, so then we'll continue on. The reply message is what um, the end user will receive back immediately after text messaging in this keyword. Um, <clears throat> That's the standard disclaimer that you'll need in all of your reply messages. And then as you can see, you have um, an additional hundred and you know two characters left on this campaign. Um, by default, how it works is that if someone text messaged in this keyword, they would receive back this reply message. Um, they would receive back a response that says that they're already involved in this autoresponder campaign for the duration of the time that these autoresponders are going out. In addition, we can, under additional options, set up a do not allow repeat hits message. Um, if we don't want them to be able to participate in this autoresponder campaign again after they've received all the messages involved. Um, what the autoresponder does is it sends back an instant reply message just like all of the campaign templates uh, but then it, sets, it sends a series of follow-up messages um, up to 10 messages um, that send on intervals of time based on their opt-in time. So let's say that I text messaged in this keyword uh, to the short code at exactly 2 p.m. Um, on a Tuesday. I can set it up so this, the first follow-up message goes um, out exactly 10 minutes later. So now I would receive um, the reply message uh, shortly after I text message in at 2 p.m. and then I receive this first follow-up message at approximately 2.10 p.m. Um, you can set up to 10 of these messages and uh, for all sorts of different variables of time um, minutes, hours, days, and these are all based in, off of that opt-in time. So these are extra messages for that person after they very opt in the very first time. Um, they'll, you know, they'll go into a database and you can send them blast messages just like you normally want in any database, but these people will get um, a couple of extra messages based off of this campaign after they opt in the very first time. Um, once we've scheduled in all of our follow-up messages, Then we're just going to hit uh, save to launch that keyword and it is now active and ready to use. The last step to setting up your autoresponder campaign will be to program in the group that the opt-ins will go into. So we're going to go over to groups and then click dynamic groups. Dynamic groups are groups that are created off of keywords. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click new. Name this one autoresponder and click add. We're going to highlight that group. Um, whichever one is highlighted is the one that you are working on at the moment. So we're going to make sure that the one we just created, autoresponder, is highlighted. And then from the drop down menu, we're going to click the appropriate keyword. There it is. Hit auto response campaign and there's our keyword. Click update and then from then on any person that text messages the keyword for that autoresponder campaign that we just set up will go into this group we called autoresponder so if we want to send out a blast to that uh, to the people that have texted into that autoresponder campaign that's the group we would choose. Um, thanks for listening that's how we set up the autoresponder campaign and corresponding dynamic group. Thank you.